what a Google Places listing is really a free listing on Google that allows you to validate for Google where your, where your business location is. But instead of just your location, and, and Google has evolved this over the last 18 months, and we'll, we'll show you an example in just a moment, it, it, it legitimizes your business um, because it validates to the search engines, Google as well as Yahoo and Bing, that the information they have about not only your address, but your business is accurate and up to date. It gives you control because it's your own free piece of real estate outside of your website that's tied to a search engine that allows you to control what searchers see about your business, especially in a local search scenario. And it allows you to get on the first page, or it can allow you to get on the first page of a search engine for, uh, let's say, uh, financial advisors, Milwaukee. So I'm going to take you over real quickly to a, let's see, where is my, oh, there it is, right here. This is the example of a local search for San Francisco financial advisor. And the, the this is the new, I, I mentioned that before, uh, before uh, October, uh, it was before in October that Google made a, a big change to the search engine results. Um, and this is the new uh, layout. I'm going to show you the old layout to, to contrast it for you. So what we see here, Ameriprise Financial, that is a paid ad. Google, that's where Google makes their money, so they put those up top. But then Places is all down here on in the middle of the, the search page, and the map is moved over to the right. And so what we see is um, for Charles Schwab, they're there on the map. And now we see all, uh, some different, we, we see not only their phone number um, and, whoops, didn't need to do that. Um, well, we, we click through. Well, not only do we see their, um, pardon me, um, their, their contact information and their address, but we also see that um, they have reviews and um, they're not showing any of the reviews. Sometimes the local review will show there, but um, as you can see, it kind of dominates um, above the page break, uh, where before, um, and we'll go back to the presentation here, if you look at the old versus the new, this is the new, like I just showed you, uh, where we have the we have the map off to the right, and then we have now dominating the whole first page, Google Places listing. We look over here to the right, and this was before October. We see that the uh, the Google Places real estate on the home page is just is a lot smaller. We've got the map and we've got seven results. Today, we have a full 10 results over here. What, what that does is that in the new layout, it doesn't leave room for what's called organic search results. Uh, there are orga organic search results over here with this um, under the new uh, layout for, whoops, um, for Google but we don't see them, and we might not see them on the first page. And let me show you what an a, a organic search result is. For an organic search result, um, the, fir, the, the company that has the, the first, the top result for uh, orga an organic search result, which means that um, it's not paid, it comes up uh, because of the words, because of the rele relevancy that Google places on the listing, it comes up right after the paid or, or the Google Places listings. And so we see that these are um, the companies that come up in organic search, and Google is looking at these words, fee-only financial advisor, financial planner, to help and, and see their San Francisco in here. Those, that's an organic search, and Google is uh, using those words on the page to help organically deliver a result to the searcher. 
And so the challenge is, is that, for instance, fee-only financial advisors for San Francisco may not make it up in here anymore. It may, may not make it up in this uh, area. And because now this area can dominate a whole page, companies that would have previously uh, uh, been on the first page may be way down on the first page or not on the Google ser uh, first page at all. So why is this important? Because uh, Google has 65% of worldwide um, search. And when we talk about that research that's being done before a purchase for products and services, 65% of the time it's going to happen on Google. Google has over 35 billion searches a month. Just uh, several years ago, that was about 4 billion. Uh, search, driven primarily by local search, has grown exponentially in the last four to five years. And the reason why Google had made these changes is because they won't say specifically what their local search percentage is, but it's greater than 20%. That puts local searches at over 7 billion searches a month on a global basis. So what does this mean to your firm? It means that you need a Google Places listing, and it is, if you don't have one, and it sounds like a fair amount of our audience today doesn't have one, I suggest that uh, you put it on you, uh, your uh, list of things to do quickly, go out and create a Google Place listing for your business. Um, and you want to do this because if someone's searching for a financial advisor in Boulder, Colorado, you have a chance of being found on the first page of the Google Places listing. If you don't have one, you're not going to show up, likely, even if you have a website. So what else does this mean? People can comment on your business. So as part of those changes that Google made in October, they started integrating more uh, reviews and references from other parts of the web about a business into a Google Places listing, and we'll look at that um, in a few moments. Now, this is good, and this can be really good, and it can be challenging. Um, it also means that free traffic, meaning if you are a company that was trying to optimize on a, on a, for organic search, as I just showed you, that's going to be more challenging. It is, what's going to be important going forward is that you use a Google Places listing and you have an optimized website in order uh, to be found online. It also means that um, links to your website um, and citations from, um, of your business online as well as reviews are going to become essential, or not so much essential, they're going to become essential to placement on a Google Places listing in local search. But those reviews are going to require, will require your attention. So let's look at real quickly what a Google Place, Place listing looks like. This is BKD Investment Advisors in Kansas City. And we see their address and their phone number. We also see their category, uh, which is a financial planner. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about, we'll talk much more about that here in a moment. And obviously, they're being placed in, uh, on the map. Then right below the basic listing information, Google will bring in reviews. Not only from, from Google, you can post a review as a Google user, but other sites as well. We'll talk about those other sites and which sites uh, are uh, bringing in more, uh, or are, that Google actually places priority on when deciding what, uh, what uh, reviews are going to include in a Google Places listing. Then right below is related places. So if, and, and in this search, I search for Kansas City Investment Advisors. And so we see other investment advisors in the same area. Google is trying to be helpful and relevant to people using local search. So they're saying, well, obviously you're interested in financial planners in Kansas City. Not only are we going to show you this one, we're going to show you other ones as well. 
And then these are the citations from around the web that I was referring to. As you can see at the very top, BKD, which is the company's website, um, is at the top of the citations. Uh, the, the, the website itself um, is a wonderful citation for uh, the Google Places listing. Um, in addition, you can see that uh, they have a citation from, uh, they were in Money, money or on CNN, uh, and they were, the company was referenced online. Now Google will go out and look for citations for your business. You can proactively uh, look, you can proactively add yourself to places on the web to increase citations, and we'll talk about that when we talk about optimizing your profile. But know that you can't place these citations. It's Google that will go out and crawl the web and look for references to your company and website to add to this section. 